my video series uh, helped help clear up some of the fog on the system anyways. <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I, I, like I said, I, I'm going to probably, uh, I don't know when I'm going to play it, but I'm going to try and uh, have a look at it. Because uh, I, I like that TCS system from uh, Multiman Publishing. Have you tried that? No, I haven't tried the TCS. Most of the time when people say MMP, I just, you know, my mind goes straight to ASL. And I right. think they've got the TCS, they've got the OCS, you know, they've got their, yeah. uh, whatever their Napole uh, the Napoleonic system was, right. the big level Napoleonic right. system. Well, given that you like ATS and some of that more tactical level game, um, TCS is a platoon scale system. Oh, okay, yeah. And it's, uh, you know, they have big battles that are three maps and it goes for two days on 20 minute turns <laughs> and that's pretty freaking awesome uh, down to single map uh, uh, things where you've both just got uh, uh, a battalion each and uh, and it's it's kind of like the it's a really well structured modular rule set that in, in its discrete bits is very easy to consume but when you put it all together, you go, "Oh wow, I got, I, I really need to think about this, right?" <laughs> so that's kind of cool. It makes you focus on the tactics and rather than the uh, the, and the rules. The rules, yeah. So for platoon scale stuff, I think it's probably the best game that I've seen so far. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's me crapping on. How oh, about I, I do the same thing? I will turn the ground <coughs> on uh, if if you let me too. So <laughs> so let's uh, you're you're I don't know who's attacking. So or we've just got to get flags, right? So um, yep. So let's, let's see uh, here. What does the note say? Seven yeah. flags. Yeah. Who goes Seven first? Seven flags. We know who... Um, it looks like I do. Yeah, yeah that would make sense. Uh, uh, Ferris would go first. Yeah, he was the That's better cool. leader on the day. I'm going to have to remember, since I'm looking at the top of this, that I'm going to have to flip mentally what the cards are doing. Ooh, good point. Oh, yeah, okay, so what do we want to do? What am I looking at? Okay, we've got those guys there. Elephants against Cav. i got heavies in the center, and cat archers on the right, or technically that's the left. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off, I think. Can you see that? Oh, no, I guess not. How do I show you what card I'm There you go. Oh, so I just moved to the board. Okay, so we'll go uh, two units left, um, which will be your right, or actually, as we're looking at it, the yep. right. Yep. So, you know, the problem is how, let's see, light bow infantry. Move a two or move one and fire, but range is only. Ooh, light bow range is three. It's still going to be too far out of range. All right, so we'll go ahead and push this guy to here and be done with him, and push this guy to here and be done with him. So I guess then I just go ahead and hit discard and then pull another card into my hand. All right. And over to you. All right. <clears throat> okay, less than. <clears throat> so my command is uh, five, right? I guess that. Oh, yes, because that's your hand size. Yeah, that's my hand size. So I can move five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, <clears throat> every time I play this game and I try and use proper, jolly good realistic because I was there 3,000 years ago tactics it I fall on my ass so well, I am it all, it I am not going to, to do that this time it all, <laughs> it all comes down to the cards I mean I'll start off real strong it's like all right I'm pushing one flank and then all of a sudden my cards for that flank completely dry up. yeah yeah you know, so. all right so mediums can move one except for the warrior infantry they move one two all right all right so I will play this guy. Four right, okay. So he can go one. <coughs> and these lights can move two. Well, one and fire, one, two, three. And that will put you in range, right? Because the range is three. So we can go one. 
Uh, light infantry only has a fire range of two. Light bows. Oh, range. light bows. Look at the wrong guy. Okay, well, yeah. let me pull that one guy back and I will move one more then. To here. And then this whole guy got two there. That's three units. And then the cavalry is on another screen. Page two, they move three cannons, so they can go one, two, three. <coughs> Up to there. Oh yeah, well, I mean, that looks awesome. Look at that bad boy. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's, my, that's my move. <laughs> burn this card so quick, but I think I'm going to have to. Why not? Yep. Because if you've got another move right, you can run those archers down. Um, alrighty, so I think, uh, how, do I, how do I indicate who I'm going to start marking on? Alright, I guess, you see the, uh, the red. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to go off and go ahead and start off with him, and we're going to go ahead and fire at your medium cavalry. Okay. And it's within range. Um, my fire dice, because I'm holding, is two. Let's see, A nor C one. Which one? No one. If leader is not hit, leader must. Uh, okay. Um. Now let's see. So it's two dice, and I'm looking for greens for hits. Right. And you've got these target markers that you can put, so you can just do this. Oh, I didn't even see that. Where did that? Where did you pull? You just right click on it, and then you, there's an attack oh, marker. Target marker. Yeah. So I, I, okay. Yeah. So I think that's what you do. I was just I just was messing with your counters, and I. Oh, that's fine. I, 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 I was trying to work. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and roll my two dice for the first attack. Uh, leader and medium. So that's no, a leader, and uh, they're not medium, so that's a miss. Um, since I'm doing dark in the skies, I'll go ahead and take their second shot. Well, they aren't they medium? They're blue, right? Oh, you are medium cavalry. Yeah. I was thinking, it had to ma is it matching what I'm doing or matching the target? Uh, well, I, I can't see that. Uh, they don't have, uh, they just got the results. I see. Medium with an asterisk, what does that mean? Uh, all of them have an asterisk after it, if you notice. Let's... Oh, okay. Well, then I, I would assume medium's medium. I don't think it's. Unless... Well, if, if you take a look at the, uh, the uh, target window, or the, the text <laughs> window, I rolled twice, I right. got two mediums. <laughs> And right below it, it says Roman medium cavalry hits equal two. There we go. So that's it. That's perfect. Uh, yeah. That's okay. it. I guess I do. I guess I guess the system, the program, will designate. Okay, what yep. I'm shooting versus what my target is. Yes. And then, all right. Well, that's that's convenient. I like it. That's clever. Uh, all right. Cool. Um, well, then we're going to take the uh, second attack. The second attack, well, yeah, the, that was that was both attacks from him. Oh, okay. The, the unit standing next to them, and we're going to go after that light infantry. Mm -hmm. So first attack, <coughs> and second attack. I wish this actually did the colored dice because I don't remember. XSW. Cross swords. Cross. That's what that is. So that's a hit. Uh, yep. And heavy banner and medium banner is banner is a retreat. Oh, that's right. That's right. So let's see what it. The, so click. Uh, whatever you clicked the last time, click it again because it should give you the net result, right? It, uh, I don't remember what I clicked last time. Though. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well, I tell you what. Then I'll just take a hit and retreat one. How's that? 
Oh, it says that's how many hits it has left on. Okay, okay, okay. Did did not tally it up for us. It just removed. Right. It just told us what the step was down to. All right, okay, okay. okay. See, that's the other thing about Vassal is it's like, all right, I may kind of understand the game, but I also have to, got to learn the interface when you jump. Yeah, in. yeah, each one of these is different. Um, so, and honestly, I believe that's everything I've got in range because this light bow here, uh, oh, no, light yeah. bow infantry range is three. Yeah. I can go <clears throat> ahead and lay fire on these guys right here. Sure. So let me go one, two, light, medium, cross swords, heavy. So that's one hit, right? Oops. Oh, no, two hits. Yeah. There you go. Yes, yeah, there's two. Okay. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I think that's me doing that. Let me see. Yeah, that's you. Every time you're re you're taking a yeah. step loss, okay. it's, okay. it's it's putting it up there. So. Okay. Um, and then. My auxillas are out of range because I've only got a range of two. And yeah, that's it. that's all I've got. Okay. Discard that. Now how do we clear okay, that clears movement. How do we clear the I think you just click on each one and you can uh, right right click on them. There you go. You should better just Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I was hoping there was a button for remove all. Let's see. Down to the other two. Oh, I got a dark card. Okay. <clears throat> We're just gonna. Where'd that guy go? Where'd that card go? Hmm. My card just. Um, Disappeared? Yeah. Uh, no? It was uh, order two units uh, in the center. Wait a I must have, I think I dropped it on here. You know what, I'll do, I'll, here's what I'll do. I'll just pull another card, since I only have four. Well, actually, hang on, let me just check. Maybe I'm going crazy. No, I only have four cards. I'm just gonna pull a card, and I'll let that sit, and I will use a different order. Since I think I dropped it back into the pile, Ah, uh, okay. by accident. So I've got to put it on the board, not on the, t on the <laughs> not on the deck. Yeah, sorry about that. But okay, <clears throat> it's kind of ruined my plan because I had two order units, two units center. So Which there we would go. Allowed you to move your line up. Yeah. Suddenly. Yes. Here we go. Two units. my move. Now I'll grab a card. And that's it. Alright. That's page one, page two. Alright, we are going to go ahead and throw out order mounted. Issue an order to a number of mounted units and or meters less than or equal to your command. Uh, pretty much all my mounted is on my right flank. I guess we're going to be going through those. So we'll go ahead and start off with light cavalry. And we can move four. So we'll go one, two, three. Medium cavalry can move four or three. So we're going to go one. Two. This medium cavalry is going to go one, two, three. And my elephants can move two. And so they are going to go like that. And that is going to be my move. Okay. Play uh, three center. Okay. One, two, three.
Inspired Center Leadership. Uh, leader sex and four adjacent link boxes. So we're going to start off with Pyrrhus. We're going to move him forward. We're going to take this medium and move them forward. That'll be the third one. And that, leader's hex and four link hexes. And the heavies to there. Okay. And over to you. to move my light foot and light mounted units less than or equal to command. They can move their full move, which for the light foot is two. So these guys can go one, two to here. And uh, archers count as, as the same? Yes, archers are, are considered light. Two. And those are actually auxilla, not archers. <laughs> Oh, I see. Exil, sorry. Yeah. But they can shoot, they can still shoot anyway. They have spears. Yeah. That's two. One. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. Now that's four, I can move one more. Let's, let's sneak a cavalry guy up here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can you move through your own units? Um, I don't think you can. I think you can, yeah. You can? Oh, okay. Uh, hmm, Kimbo Sabi. There's a part of me that's saying, you know, maybe I should break down the rules and glance over them real quick. But no, Kevin knows what he's doing. I'll just trust him to know the rules. Yeah, no, it's good. I think I think I, I, I would probably say you can't and just to be... Well, I think there may be something about Auxilla and lights. Yeah, I think light, that lights would make sense, but and, and maybe cavalry going through each other would make sense. It's fine. It doesn't matter. That'll be fine. Let's uh, let's, let's roll some dice. So right. uh, we're okay. uh, these this guy. Like, what do I do here? Attack marker, and he's going to target that guy. Please tell me he has a range of two. Yes, and Auxilla. Looking for the icon. Where's the Auxilla's? Auxilla's the fourth of the. There way. it is. They, so they can do the same thing. And put a target marker on that guy there. And then these guys will fire over here as well. I don't know if you're supposed to do all these all at once, but I'm just doing it so I don't, right. don't forget. Just so, you, just so you remember it. Yeah, that's fine. As long as we are both in agreement as to what's happening. Yeah. Okay, so let's start on the left with that elephant, Elefante. And I have no idea. Hellfire's using two, two dice. Yes, two dice. Two dice if you hold, one if you move. Two dice. Well, does the card change that? Let me check. I think it does. Oh, you have a question. No. Okay. Uh, Lightfoot, including Xylia, may move through a friendly unit when moving two hexes. If you do not have any light units, move one in each place. All right. 
so one die. Okay, so let's do one die on the elephants. So the unit on the left has got will go first. Okay. And an XSW, what's that, cross swords? Cross swords, yeah. Um, actually, if you take a look on the right, right above the uh, victory chart, it actually shows what the dice roll is. Right above the victory um, Unfortunately, I believe, let me check for elephants. Elephants uh, may they, ignore all sword hits. Of yeah. course they can. Okay, uh, then let's roll the next one. <laughs> the cross swords. <laughs> you sucker. All right. Uh, okay, let's delete those. Those on. Delete. All right, let's try the bow dudes on the left hand side now. The guys on the left didn't move, so they get two they dice. Get two dice, yep. Yeah. So they did a heavy and a leader, which is going to be nothing. And then the other guy gets one, and he gets a medium, and that is also nothing. Well, that was. Inauspicious. But those guys can now move again. Yep. So. How horrible are elephants in Malay against light? Let's see. <coughs> Lights are actually, I think, one of the few that actually get bonuses or mm. something. At, let's see. Something, or maybe I'm thinking, uh, that's the other problem. Other games <coughs> that's. I get too many rules <laughs> meshing oh, together. Oh, sword hits are rolled again. Or do they roll again? No, sword hits. Oh, ignore are roll hits. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay, yeah. I'm looking. I'm and looking. Close combat sword hits are rolled again. Poop. Okay. So, um, I get to move again. May not close combat. Okay, but I can move adjacent if I wanted to, right? I can go like this one. right which is actually our left yep um so the first thing i'm going to do is take this light infantry here move them and engage your light infantry in combat okay let's see light infantry close combat dice is equal to the number of hits we have isn't it i'm looking now CC yeah, dice is two, two, two. 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 Yeah. All righty, so uh, I'll go ahead and attack your light infantry that I'm adjacent to, rolling now, medium and heavy, nothing. And then we are going to take the elephant unit that is right next to my light infantry and crash into your light infantry. Okay, now let's see what happens with that. Yeah. All right. <coughs> um, Okay, elephant close combat dice. Question mark, see below. Elephants use three dice in close combat against elephants, warriors, and heavy chariots. One dice against leaders, otherwise same dice as, oppon as opposing units use. Elephants do not receive benefits from leaders. Uh, rampage and blockade, which we're not doing. So, since I use the same dice you do, light infantry use two dice. So my elephants are using two dice against you. Rolling now. <laughs> That's dice awesome. gods are definitely with me tonight. That is awesome. Okay. Um, but yeah, no retreats. We're locked in combat. Well, as much as you can be locked in combat. Yep. And go ahead and discard that. I'm done. And drawing a card. Oh, All right. Let's see. Uh, 
Lavinius, 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 you worthless dog. <laughs> Heavy's only move one, is that correct? Correct. Although, um, in the, I think it's in the third expansion, the Roman Civil War one, um, Heavies can actually move two in that one. Roman Heavies can actually move two in that right, one. Right, that's the discipline formations, etc., etc. Nice. Exactly. Yeah, okay, that's very cool. All right, we're going to move three units right. There we go. One, two, three. <coughs> So, uh, let's have uh, some combat. Alrighty. I think those guys get two dice, is it right? Three, three dice. dice. Three dice. Three. Yep. Light, uh, cross light, swords, and medium. Cross swords and medium. And I can, and I do not think my lights get anything. Let's yep, check. I can't ignore that, so I take two hits. Okay. I hit something, yay. Yay. The poor little archers out there getting run down by medium Saracens. <laughs> yes. They're not Saracens, but Roman cavalry. Yeah, they're uh, probably mercenaries. Gal no, they, may, they may be the mediums. I know the Romans used a lot of the medium cavalry. But they were mostly light cavalry, though, weren't they? Yeah, they were all light cavalry. Yeah. They, these all would right. probably be uh, some sort of Gallic... Uh, well, 280 BC... This is before the Roman Empire really got kicking, so... Yeah, before the Reformation. Yep. So, yeah, these are probably... Yeah, they're probably just mercenaries. Yep. Or probably... You know what they're... Oh, you know what they are? They're Tarantines. That's what they oh, are. Oh, yeah, 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 Those awesome dudes. I've got, I've got a little book on about those. <laughs> All righty, let's see. That is my left. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw order two units left. And it's going to be both the light bows. Oh, no. uh, and we're just going to go ahead. Oh, um, can I shoot at point blank if we're locked in combat? Mm, I don't believe so, but I, you, we, that's something you would probably want to check. Uh, I, think you're, I think we're in, considered to be in close combat. I believe so. Okay, so... But I can move one hex back. Yes, you can. Ret you can retreat and move move one hex. I yeah. I don't know what the disengagement rules are anymore. Is there I've... even disengagement? That's you know what? Let me let, let me go grab the book real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Oh no, no, it's my fault. I, I should, like yeah. I said, there was part of me that was thinking I should have pulled the rule book down. But uh, give me give me like ten seconds. Yep. Seconds because my book was not in my was not in the main box. It was one of the expansion boxes. Of course it was. <laughs> of course. <yeah. laughs> if I if, if I drop if I drop dead tomorrow, my wife and kids are going to go. What the hell is all this stuff? Uh, nothing's where it should be. And I'm reasonably organized, but lately I've kind of just you know, re as I've reorganized things, it's become a disaster. So <laughs> with big games like Panzer and stuff. That is one system I regret not picking up when I had the chance. Oh, dude, that's what we should have played. I could have taught you how to play that. That's a fun game. Oh, I, that, I would have loved to have learned how to play that. That yeah, we'll do it next time. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not really seeing anything about... Okay, let's take a look at the news for shooting. Setting up game sequence for command, ordinance leaders, movement... 
Range combat. Okay, range combat may not be used against an adjacent enemy unit. Good. There you go. That makes sense. I like it. Yep. Yep. All right, so I will have to pull back. So this light bow will pull back, and he will shoot at you, but since he moved, he only gets one dice. Uh-huh. So let's go ahead and do that. A banner, which is a retreat. Dang it. And how far do cavalry reach, or medium cavalry reach? Oh, that's infantry. Um, oh, no, that's... Where are you attacking me? I was oh, these me. guys over here. Yeah. I thought you were doing the other side. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's my, it's technically my left, which yep. is our right. Yeah, it's got a little L on the board. Okay, so uh, MCs, uh, cavalry retreat too, don't they? Uh, cavalry retreat, retreat hex is three. Three? Chickens. Well, light cavalry retreats four. Mm. Um, and that's annoying because I was going to use my light bow to shoot at you, but you're no longer there. So the this light bow, uh, since it is a bow unit, I do have a range of three. I think. Let's go ahead and pick on that light infantry some more. <coughs> um, didn't move, so I get my two dice. A uh, leader and a banner. <coughs> Damn. Okay, take a hit. Well, we hold on. You're next to a leader. That, that does something with the banner if I believe you're next to a leader. Oh, no, that's <coughs> if you're defending or attacking. A banner. A unit with two or more adjacent friendly units may ignore one flag. So I don't think he retreats. Yeah, I don't think he does either. So nothing, that's a no result. Uh, correct. Okay. Put your card in the deck. Why don't you get a new yeah. guy? Draw a new card. Hmm. What to do, Kimosabi? What to do? make any difference with uh, let's see here huh. so marginal where is <laughs> where's my edge man there is no edge all right that's what that's what okay let's do this Okay, we're gonna. Uh, oh, that's interesting. I could do that. Sometimes he's uh, <coughs> unsure. The rest of the time, he doesn't know what he's doing. Let's do double time. So, I can move four units over two sections as yep. long as they're linked. Yeah. Yeah. So, we will go. <laughs> This is going to be ugly in the center. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Now, can I move him there or do I have to keep them linked? Or, uh, I think they have to stay adjacent, it would make sense, I would imagine. Let's, well, let's take a look at what the actual card, the definition in the rule book says. Double time. Yeah. Each ordered unit, except with war machines, may move two hexes and still engage in close combat. War units right. can move three, but must engage in close combat if you're doing so. Well, it just says in a group, each ordered unit may move two hexes. It doesn't say you have to stay grouped after you start. Yeah. I don't think you have to. Yeah, because I would probably prefer it. Well, I guess I'd, I can choose who I attack. I don't have to attack everybody, right? I can attack the. Um, this medium unit 
can be where it is and still attack your medium unit and not oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. and not the heavy. You're free, you're, you're free to attack whoever. Yeah, I keep want. I keep thinking I've got to attack everything. That's a great battle of history yeah. uh, hangover. <laughs> and so many other SBI games. Yeah, really. Okay, so uh, we'll just do left to right. I'll put the little attack marker thingy. Are we supposed to move these one at a time and do it, or, or and resolve it, or am I supposed to move them all at once? I I would think. I'm just because I, I noticed that you moved one guy at a time before, and I feel like I'm good question. I'm yeah, doing it different to you, and I don't want to be the bad guy. I think you do all your movement and then do combat. That's what I then thought. Then do all your combat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So these guys were attacking. Uh, the medium on the left is attacking your lights. Alrighty. <clears throat> and I guess that's going to be mediums have three dice, I think. Yes. No, four dice. Oh, four dice. Holy dooly. Okay. <laughs> Come on, baby. So now, now's where you want a good roll. Alright. That's a light on, and two cross swords. That's a good. That would be three hits. Yep. Now, the next guy. He's a medium as well, and he's doing. F now you get the battle back, right? Oh, um, I believe so. Yeah. Close combat. Uh, determine terrain. Attacker rules. Battle dice. Attacker place hits. Apply retreats. Possible momentum advance and bonus close combat. See momentum advance, then battle back. The defender in some situations may battle back. If battle back occurs, defender applies any hits and retreats are resolved. So, so you roll. Uh, take a look at. Uh, you roll two or three dice or something like that. Where are you? Uh, uh, light. It's the light infantry. It's going to be yeah. two dice. Yeah. Battling back in close combat, the defending enemy unit may battle back against the attacking unit. If one or more of the defending unit blocks survive the close combat attack, and the defending unit did not retreat from its hex, the defending unit is forced to retreat out of its original hex and may not battle back. Duh. Uh, scan down. If the defending unit was unable to fulfill a required retreat, it may battle back as long as it still has one or more blocks remaining. When battling back, the battling back unit <laughs> determines any terrain, battle, dice, re reduction. Uh, battling back unit resolves battle in the same manner as the attacker. Yeah, all right. All right. So I get two dice to battle back. And we're looking at a medium and a leader. That'll do it. That's so one. That'll be one. Yeah. All right. Well, put, okay, next one. Now I've got a leader with this guy. But it's four dice. Uh -huh. And I get a leader, a banner, a heavy, and a leader. So I guess that's uh, just... Uh, well, you don't have to retreat probably because you're... Well, I've got adjacent guys on either side. What's right, and I think it's because I am adjacent to a yeah, leader. What's my, what's my leader have any benefit? I, uh, yeah, that's what I am. It's, it's about uh, it lets me ignore a flag. CC special leader symbol number of hits. Okay, here we go. Green will score on units with green. Blue will hit score hits on blue. Red will score hits on red. Flag that does not cause a hit but may cause the unit to retreat. Uh, if the attacking unit rolls a leader symbol, uh, leader affects close combat but not ranged combat, sword symbol or unit symbol that does not match the target unit, the ranged combat, oh, that's ranged combat. Yeah. Close combat. It just lets you ignore a hit, I think. So you get the battle back with four. The bottom line, I think. Well, let's just check to make sure. Okay, score hits in close combat. One hit is scored in close combat for each leader helmet symbol rolled if a friendly leader is attached to or adjacent to the unit that is battling. Now we're talking. So, that there's is the benefit. Okay. Two hits on me. Good. But no retreat because I am yes. adjacent to two units. Yes. And I, was that against my mediums or my heavies? Mediums. Okay. Take hit. Take hit. I did not retreat. I get to strike back with four dice. Rolling. Medium Jesus. banner, light medium. Okay, so I get to ignore the... Um, well, it's two hits. I, I ignore the banner. Yep, because not only are you stacked with the leader, but you're also stuck next to two yeah, units. That, guy, that guy's just suck tonight. The, the, my, my woman is uh, she's sitting on the couch playing on her Kindles, just shaking her head at us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to swear. 
Oh, that's okay. You're on headset, so you, she can't hear you, and honestly, you probably can't swear any worse than I can. So. Right. I can't find a. Oh, I gotta put this on here. I see. And maybe that's how we do hits. No. I can't see how to take. It won't let me take hits. I'm gonna move this guy out of here. Hmm. Oh, double click on it. That kind of expands it out. There and then you can uh, put the hits on it directly. Wow. All right. I should have just sat back and waited for you. This is not going well. All right. Nice job. Uh, heavies, five dice. Yep. All right. Leader is a hit. Cross Swords is a hit. Heavy is a hit and two banner results. Now, I can ignore the first banner result because I'm, I'm with the leader. I can ignore the second banner result yep. because I'm stacked next to two guys. Yep. But I do take three hits, I believe. I don't think heavies can ignore swords. No. No. So, ouch. That is three hits on my heavies. That actually is close to breaking my center. Oh, yeah, and I get to strike back. Uh, five, five dice yeah. rolling. Jeez. Well, this is against your heavy, so. Yeah, yeah, still two hits. Two hits. Damn. It's no, re no retreat. Honestly, I'm surprised we haven't had very many retreats. Yeah. We're all packed in formation right now. So. All right, last uh, medium is going to attack your medium with all four right. dice. And he does uh, two hits. Two hits, yeah. That's better. That time you guys start swinging that sword, right? <laughs> well, you got legionnaires with gladiuses and the, she and the swords, and my guys look like they're uh, pikemen or spearmen. Yeah. So rolling back with uh, four dice. One, two. Damn it! <laughs> You're rolling Actually, great there's tonight. There's something I need to. There's part of me that wants to say you can't roll more dice than you have hits. No, that's Napoleonic. This, this, uh, okay. yeah. And, unfortunately, uh, this and game, yeah, yeah. And yeah. One of the problems with it, that's one of the problems I have with this is it's, and it's not rep really. The number doesn't represent the strength so much as it's, it's the strength and the cohesion and all the rest of it. So they're saying, although you're weakening the unit, it's not, you're not killing twenty five percent of it. You're just weakening it, so it can still fight. With all its strength, because it's got the, all the guys there, right, right. they're just not probably you know, I don't know. That's what I was told that, to, to help to help me suspend disbelief. Be well, yeah, sometimes you have to do that. Right? Right. <laughs> well, that was what I was talking about. There was one heavy unit that just basically meandered across the board with one hit left and knocked out with an amazing set of rolls <laughs> half my army. And that was the that was the last time I played combat. Uh, whatever this is, uh, Commander Colors Ancients. Was it a big epic game? Ever play? Have you ever played that? No, I haven't ever done that. It's no. super fun, man. Eight guys all yelling at each other, drinking beer. It was a good time. <laughs> well, that's half the fun is the drinking beer part. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't do that with my squad leader group because we do it in a public place. So. You can't drink beer in the in a, oh, it's in a. What you, oh. It's it's in a community center type thing. I'm just gonna. I guess you saw that. Never mind. Uh, <clears throat> oh, that's no good. That's no fun, then. You know? Well, I know, right? You have to find another place to play. Well, we the club, the club, they like to do it there for the club, but I mean, if, you know, I, I go over to other guys' houses all the time. Sure. Not all the time, but uh, I got one guy who actually lives like 10 minutes away from me, but we haven't gotten together in several months. His son, he's got an autistic son, and. Oh, it's a lot of his. Uh, oh his gosh, his I bet. Attention, so. Poor dude. I should probably get a hold of him. I've talked to him in a couple months. So. Mm, what do I want to do? Okay, I think we're going to go ahead with order light troops. Number of light foot and light mounted equal to or less than your command rating. Light foot units may move through friendly unit. Well, we don't want to move through too many friendly units, I think. So we're going to go we're going to start off on my right, on our right. We're going to go one and hold there. Uh, the guy will come. We'll, uh, okay, so we do movement again. Movement first, then shooting. So 
We're going to nominate this guy right here is also, oh, yeah, so it shows up with the, if I, I say order, it shows it up with the red. Um, we're going to order this guy to move forward one. That's three. Uh, over on our left, my light infantry, we're going to go ahead and pull them back. And that is one, two, three, four. I have one more left. And I'm going to take this auxilla here and go one and two. And that's going to be it for moving. Okay. And I'm going to shoot. We're going to start. He is going to shoot. And because he's got the range, he is going to shoot. And he is going to shoot. So we could start off on the far right, and he is going to target your infantry that's got the three on it, or it's got three hits remaining. So he moves, so he gets one dice. Uh, banner, which is a retreat. It's going to have a unit on both sides, right? To, um, to get that defense. I don't know if it's both sides or just adjacent to. Let's see. Um, ex Okay, boost, bolster morale. Some situations allow you to discard one or more flags rolled against it. If more than one of the following situation applies, the effects are cumulative. The unit may disregard one flag when the leader is attached to the unit. Uh, a unit may disregard one flag when supported by two friendly units. Support units may be in any two hexes that are adjacent to the unit. Okay, so he's got one behind him and one to the left. Oh, he's got three guys next three. to him. So he's, so yeah, he's, he's, he's good. good. He ignores that. All right, so the middle infantry, or the middle light bow are actually going to be shooting at your guys, yep. your light infantry with one hit. Yep. So they didn't move, so they get two dice. Okay. He's dead. Yep. Which is one banner for me. Oh, okay. Oops. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, that's that right. works too. No, yeah. that works too. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I was just putting them on there. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. I mean, whatever's easiest for you. Um, and then my third in light bow that actually moved is going to shoot at your light infantry with the three. So since I moved, I get one dice, which is a medium, which is nothing. Cool. And go ahead. And markers. And what happened to the card? Where did the card go? Yeah, where did the card go? Having a card attrition. Card issues. Well, it's off. It's off the board. So, and it, but it's not in the. Yeah. Did it end up in your deck? No, I don't have it. What was it? It was a. Uh, oh, order all light. Yep. Yeah. No, I don't have that over here. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe, uh, maybe well, as long as it's not there, I'll yeah. Do it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Oh, I think I know what happened to it. I think it went on top of the deck because I just pulled that as. So let me go ahead and discard that and okay. draw another one. Okay. Let's see. Let's order three units left. All right. One, one. That's right. One. Uh, what a <laughs> moron! Yeah, you tell you tell them a little worried about that side of the map. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, but <laughs> yeah, I really want to move over there. Okay, not so much. Okay, well, so if you, if you if you want to pull that card back, go no, ahead. no, it's it's fine. I just played the wrong card. It's all good. One, two, <laughs> I'm such a dog. One, two, we'll do this thing. One, two, and then a third will be, you want to avoid your elephants for the time being. Now only uh, only one unit can attack, you can only be attacked once, right? So um, no, you can attack with another unit as long as uh, okay. that unit, the unit you're attacking doesn't retreat. It has to be, you have sure. to attack 
okay. each unit sequentially. Yes. But okay. as long as my unit is still there, then you can attack them again. Gotcha. Then I'll pile on. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Medium get to roll three dice, I believe. Yep. So we'll do the guy on the. Let's do this properly, I suppose. Oh, hang on, I actually may try to avoid that. <laughs> I may try to avoid Oh, that. no, come on. <laughs> Here, a spoil sport. Actually, I don't think I can because I don't because I have to do an immediate retreat. <clears throat> if I, I've got nowhere to retreat to. So, yeah, okay, I guess I'm not going to... I guess I'm not going to evade. Because if I have to retreat, that would be a retreat of four hexes. Because that's what... Yeah, retreat of four hexes. And since there's no place for me to go and take four hits, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah, I think I think that would be bad. Three, <laughs> you, you, you've got better luck with my bad die rolling, uh, staying where you are. Three dice. Here we go. Uh, cross swords, medium, and leader. So let's all see. right, so that's one hit. There you go. No retreat. Okay, and then as my light cavalry has two dice, I'm going to return two dice. Damn. All right, now the next guy will roll three dice. Okay. And he gets... Ooh. Now that's going to be interesting. That's going to... Okay, I can avoid one flag because I'm adjacent to two units. And, oh, I think and I can avoid the next, another, the other one because Leonidas is right there. Let me see if it's adjacent. I thought you, I thought you had to be in the hex with him. Yeah, that, you may be correct, but I just want to check that just to make sure. Leonidas. Because if I have to retreat, that's going to destroy the unit. Yeah, Leonidas is such a punk. Oh, I don't know. This is Sparta. Okay, yeah, unit may disregard one flag when a leader is attached to the unit. All right, so I am going to have to retreat. And because I have to retreat four hexes, and I've got no place to retreat to, that's four hits, it's actually two hits. And I don't think Cav, Light Cav, can retreat through through other yep. units. Yep. So that unit is... Toast! Destroyed. All right. Congratulations. Okay. And I actually think your medium cavalry can... Uh, advance, right? Can advance, correct. Do we get medium to cavalry... Do we get to follow on attack? Uh, yeah, advance, move one hex, may battle. Boom, we'll take that guy. All right, you don't want to attack Leonidas? Nah, it's okay. <laughs> Two mediums, Ooh, fighting like a champ. Good hits. Yeah, I, all I'm doing is clearing the way for your elephants to come and destroy my cavalry. That's as successful as I want to be. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to attack that, but that other guy. <laughs> I think you know, I think we pushed them back far enough, sir. I see I see strange animals in the rear. Very large, ugly looking gray yeah. creatures. Oh, they right. look very angry. Yeah. Let's not get between them and them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull a card and because that's all that's all my guys. Uh, and here we go. Hmm, let's see, that's my left flank. No, that's my right flank, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, all right, well. Order three units right. Oh boy, Here come the elephants. So, <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is get the hell of the medium cavalry out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and pull him back. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pull him back three. And yeah, we got to commit the elephants. Move him forward, move him forward. And then for attacks, yep. each one, the first one will attack that one. Now there's something about elephants versus, okay, elephants CC dice. Elephants yeah. use three dice in close combat against elephants, warriors, or heavy chariots, one dice against leaders. Okay, so I'm going up against medium cavalry, so I use whatever you have, which is three dice. Okay. Uh, rolling the first batch. Medium one hit. And cross swords. Yep. That's two hits. Yeah, I should have killed that unit. That was dumb. Okay. And this unit, we'll go ahead and attack that unit at three dice. Oh, I get to battle. I get to battle back. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Okay, we ignore that dice roll. Yeah, so I get to battle back with uh, one die. 
No, you get your three dice. Oops, I'm sorry. So let's ignore that. Dang it, that was a good one. Well, do that. That's all right. L, L, the leader, medium, and light. What are you? They're heavy, so nothing. Okay. All right, so my elephant's against your other medium yep. cavalry. Three dice. Uh, one hit for the cross swords. That'll do three. Heavy. One. All right. Oh, and a banner. Well, ignore oh, the Oh, and a banner. You're going to think you ignore oh, banners, no, no, don't you? That's your light infantry that's next to me. I'm only adjacent to one. Yes, so you will have to. Now, you oh, got to... I take the one hit for the heavy. Yep, and you got to check for rampage now. Yes, before an elephant retreats, all adjacent <laughs> units, friendly and enemy, roll two dice for hits. Okay. Um. All right, we'll start with my elephants that are right next to them. Two dice. Yes. <laughs> heavy and a banner. Okay. Okay, so he's going to be retreating as well, but... Uh, but he's got a... So, now, does this uh, cause a chain? D doesn't this, he... This, this will cause a chain. Perfect. But we have yep. to do all, all the, the others first. My, right. Right. So now, your medium, so you've got your medium cavalry and your light in. Do I roll two dice, dude? Did you say? What yes, have? it's two dice. Oh, fuck. Yuck. Okay. And he retreats, so he goes three or four. Uh, medium cav retreat is uh, three. Three. Yikes. And then the light, of course. He takes a hit. All right, there we go. All right, now I have to retreat, and an elephant retreat is one hex. So he'll go ahead and retreat to the Okay. Do you have, don't you have to retreat away from the enemy, or? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. All right, I nice try, know. champ. <laughs> I'm watching you. Yeah. You have to, I, I swear. <laughs> like I tell everybody. I only get about 50% of the rules right. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny because for the longest time I was playing Flames of War and the store that I was playing at, you know, we'd have anywhere from 8 to 12 guys there every week because we'd play once a week. And I, for some reason, became the rules guy. And it's like I'm telling everybody, it's like, I don't know the freaking rules. Are you guys coming to me for the rules? Yeah. I only know the rules about half the time, so, but it happened. All right, so now my L elephant, the second elephant, uh, ended up getting a retreat result as well. Yeah. So we're going to roll for the medium cavalry and Leonidas. Well you're gonna roll for your elephant first, right? Doesn't he roll the set take damage as well? Is that what you said? Um I'm sorry if I, I missed that. No, I no 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 before an elephant retreats all adjacent units. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, okay. Leonidas. Okay. Let's get a leader. Let's we start off with Leonidas two dice. Oh okay banner and okay well I can ignore the banner because I'm set yeah. to the leader. But I do take the hit nice. for the cross swords. Yeah, I'm going to roll two dice for my blue guys. I get uh, two bands. So what does that mean? Just retreat three, right? Retreat twice. So he's a, he has to go off the board then, right? Yes. Okay, so yes. there we go. Um, and uh, my uh, elephant is actually... Now, how, the, how would that work? I guess because my elephant ended up next to the elephant that's rampaging, I would have to roll for him as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll go ahead and roll two dice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Kills the kills the uh, elephant. Daddy wants a new pair of shoes. All right. And okay. these guys, and then the elephants retreat and end up there. Um, I'm gonna have to take about a uh, thirty second break. The woman just went to bed, and I gotta go tuck her in. Yeah, you go tuck her in. Yep, I'll be right back. So the first one is going to be moving that heavy infantry there. The second one is going to be moving that heavy in to fill the breach. And I can't remember how leaders move. I think they have to have a special card for them to be able to... Do you remember how leaders work in movement? Uh, I thought they counted as a unit move, so you either need to move him separately or or he can move with. It's, it's either or. Yeah. You can't move him twice, though. Yeah. So if that's the case, can I have left the leader behind when I moved that first heavy infantry out? Because I don't think I can leave leaders behind, though. No. Yeah, you want to probably want to check that because I, I don't recall. 
After playing a command card, announce which eligible units or leaders you choose to order. Only those units or leaders chosen to receive an order from the play card may move, battle, or take special action. Units or leaders on a hex of the dotted line running through may be ordered from either section. You may not give more than one order to each unit or leader. And if the command card allows you to issue more orders in a given leader in the same hex as a friendly unit is considered to be attached. If the unit is ordered to move, the attached leader must move with the unit. An attached leader must move to the same hex as the right. unit. Note that it only still costs one command to order a unit with an attached leader. All right, so yeah, I can't, I can't order him again. After your heavy infantry. Okay. And I have five close combat dice. Rolling. One. One hit. Ignore the banner. Yep. Oh, I ignore one of the banners yeah. because I'm adjacent to two. Yeah. I take the one hit for the swords, but I have to take. Uh, you do have to fulfill the other retreat. Yeah. And heavy infantry retreat is one hex. And my center just opened up. Not good. All right, discard that card. Draw a new card, and over to you. Three units left. One, two. One, two, three. Ooh, decided to push the left. Okay, so we'll do uh, what is two dice against your two dice sky playing for keeps heavy heavy of course so you get to battle back yep and knowing my luck or the way the dice have been treating me I'll get two light hits no nothing thank you lord <laughs> sweet baby Jesus says yeah all right four five cards. Okay, I am done. Okay. Well, that card's pointless for me now. Let's see what else we got. That's not going to be any good. That would be pointless. So it could be that one. Yeah, all right, we'll go outflanked for two units and or leaders in both left and right. Okay. So we're going to nominate this bowman and this bowman on my left flank. And over here, we're going to nominate... Uh, what do we want to do? Let's have this elephant move there. And this medium cavalry move there. Okay, for combat, let's go back over to our right flank. And the first light bowman is going to attack your light infantry for two dice. You see the roll? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, sorry. Oh, that was uh, my my son just walking. I was. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We can, we can pause it. We're we're, no, we're good. Uh, cross swords and a light. Oh, that is not nice. This was this guy here, right? It was. Uh, yeah, that one right there. Two hits. Okay. Yikes. And then the other light bowman is also going to shoot at that light. Makes sense. Three. 
for two dice with uh, ignore the banner because you're next to two. Okay, I want to, but I want to retreat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Uh, okay, over on our left, my elephant is going to attack your medium cavalry. This is very rude, but go ahead. I know. Two, I know. two three it's dice. Right? Elephants, I can't control them. They're they're doing it all. They're doing it all on their yeah. own. So three dice. Nothing. That does not bode well. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Got him. That's good. great. Uh, good. Oh, thank goodness. That's a relief. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> um, now, my medium cavalry against your light infantry. Three dice. There we go. Okay. Uh, this guy is dead. Then. Well, we're just slaughter on the left. We're, yeah, we're just... And we're just maintaining parity. Yeah. Right? All right, so we discard that card and delete those and get rid of moves. Draw a card and back over to you. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna order do this. Four units. I think that's all. Uh, let me just see. I tell you what. Then we'll move this guy. One, two, three. Yep, that's five. Okay. All right. So let's do the medium cavalry attacking your medium cavalry on the left. Alrighty. I guess we'll just get one of these. In the Three dice, right? Yep. Nothing? Oh, a bad. Uh, yeah. The flag. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, medium cavalry. Uh oh. Retreat three. One, two, and I have to take one hit, so he is eliminated. All right. And I get to advance and attack, right? Yeah, medium cavalry may advance and attack. All right, so. All right, that's that guy. Um. And you get to battle back. Well, oh, actually, do you? No, I don't. Because <laughs> the bandit, right, right. Well, yep. no, and, the and the and the cross swords, right? Yeah, the cross swords just flat out kill. Oh, that's why you've only got one. Sweet, yeah, okay. good. Yeah, one hit left on him. Oh wow. Okay, I guess I get to advance into that hex too. You can. So I want to be far away from you. <laughs> you want to stay away from Leonidas? Yeah. What the hell is he doing way over on the end, twiddling his thumbs? Yeah. All right. Uh, so this medium unit will attack this medium unit. Oh, I should have deleted that little guy. Yep. So that's three. Is it three? Yeah, well, I think medium two. gets four. Okay. Medium gets get four. Bunch yeah. of dice. Okay, here we go. All right. Light, light, heavy banner. Okay. Um, I have to take the banner because I'm not adjacent to two of my own. Yep. So mediums retreat two. Okay. So maybe one, two. And mediums may advance and then battle. Okay, so we will. Wow, he's a risk. <laughs> I've only got one hit left. Yeah, I know. if I get a heavy, that'd uh, that'd make life difficult for you. Um. Well, you only live once, right? Exactly. Four dice. That's, that's what the kids say. Heavy. Hey. Two heavies. Two heavies and a sword. Yeah. I can ignore the banner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, ooh, okay, so it's that, so, okay, Pyrrhus, what, what is going to happen to Pyrrhus? Oh, yeah, there's a, they, they, he, I think, I 
think he uh, you roll a die and then he either mo he moves to the nearest unit or something like that. Or he could get wiped out. Well, that'd be even better. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, for me. Uh, well, of course. Okay, let's see. How exactly to get better in Bimic exceptions? Leaders in close combat. The leader may not battle if he's alone in a hex, however, the leader will inspire a test in adjacent. Uh, if a friendly leader is a test to our adjacent battle unit, may score a hit for each leader. Score hits, yes. Examples. Hits on. Let's see, leader casualty check. Let me see if they actually give rules. Leader symbols. A leader casualty check must be made when a unit loses a block from range combat, close gotcha. combat, evading, yada, 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 yada. The leader's unit eliminated. When a leader is attached to a unit and the unit is eliminating leader, leaving the leader alone in the hex, the leader casualty check is made with only one dice to hit the leader. You must have rolled a leader symbol. Uh, if the leader is not hit on this single roll, the leader must evade one, two, or three hexes back toward his own side of the battlefield. Okay. All right. So the R unit roll is die. eliminated. Yep. Uh, let's see. There isn't really a... Uh oh, we're getting very close. Okay, so now um, you get to roll one dice to see if you can kill Pyrrhus. Nope. Nope. And so I have to retreat one, two, or three hexes. Yes. Uh, okay, so we'll go one... And it has to be, yeah, it has to be to there. I can't stay, I can't, I don't think I can, well, I could probably stay there. No, you can, you can advance, you can retreat on, you can retreat one hex to your medium unit, can't you? Mm -mm. No, it has to be towards my edge. Okay. It actually said that. Okay, but you could, but one hex is there, you can go there. It says is one. that mine? That, that's yours, isn't oh, it? Oh, that is mine. I yeah. thought that was yours. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. No. He'll 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 move there. Yeah. No. I'm I'm, I'm good. I'm not that good. <laughs> I, have, I haven't got you surrounded. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Uh, so that was. Oh, and I just cleared the the moves things, but I oh, had. That's to, okay. We, yeah. we still we, we know. Yeah, I had these two medium guys yeah, here. Yeah, still got the two mediums. In the and they're going to attack that dude in the middle. Uh, this, oh, let me get over. Here. The medium that's got two steps on it. Yeah. This guy. Yep. So we'll do yep. this dude first. This dude. Yeah, second. Okay. So do a guy on the left. Four. Okay. Four dice, right? Four dice. Yes, sir. Light, light, light. Medium. Okay. So. That does get one hit, but I get to strike back. Yeah. Ignore the banner, but you have to take the cross swords. Right. Oof. Getting close. Okay. Now <laughs> four more. One. Ba there we go. We got it. Oh yeah. yeah. That'll get him. And that gives you the game. Huh. Well. That was fun. That was actually pretty damn fun. Yep. <laughs> yeah, talk about crazy. I, I, I thought that uh, once those elephants, once I let your medium cavalry on your right retreat, I was thought to myself, why did I do that? No, I, I should have just killed that guy and taken the consequences. <laughs> and then you move forward with your elephants, and I thought it was all over. I thought, oh, he's just going to run amok with me. And uh, oh, they ran amok. All they right. did run amok, <laughs> but just not the way we all like, could anticipate it. That was uh, hilarious. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing. I, as, uh, it's, anytime I'll play an ancient game, that's why I love throwing elephants in, just because of the pure chaos. Yes, factor. yes. And it's like even in uh, the, the, the recent Rome Two Total War. You know, I love throwing one or two elephants in and just, just throwing them um, balls <coughs> to the wall right initially. Because, right. you know, they'll either get cut down by arrow fire or they'll just go rampaging through the enemy's front line and, you know, open it up for me to be able to exploit. So, yeah, I like elephants. I, I like throwing elephants. Good fun. Good fun. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Well, Devin, thanks for playing with me, man. That was awesome. Thank you, sir. This was, this was definitely a, an enjoyable time, and I do hope we get the chance to do it again. I would love to. Love excellent, to. excellent. Um, huh? I'm currently a little bit unemployed, so I'm pretty much free all the time. Uh, Sunday on those days. Um, so you do you, you play uh, ASL uh, every every other week? Did you say? 
No, once a month. Once a month. Okay. Right. Second Saturday of the month is the club's uh, day to get together. I do have another. I do have one game that I'm doing, uh, you know, quote unquote, face to face vassal with from a guy from the Philippines, and it's like a 16 hour time difference. So yes, yeah, so I do the uh, same thing Monday nights. Uh, with yeah, a, yeah with, so, in Australia. Yeah, it's, 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 we do it on my Saturday evenings, his Sunday mornings, every once in a while. But we haven't, we haven't, Vlad and I haven't been able to do it for a couple, three weeks. So I think uh, we were supposed to do it tomorrow, but it's Halloween. Um, and I'm supposed to be going to a party, but the gal who is hosting the party, um, she's gallivanted in high school. I know her and her husband still. Um, every year they throw a homely party, but she had an emergency group canal today. Oh, I, I do not think she is going to be up to the, having the party tomorrow. Yeah, well, so I, well, I got to get a hold. Of or maybe, tomorrow. or maybe yeah. she'll be popping a bunch of pills and drinking and having a good time. Well, there, they, yes, that is one of the reasons we go over there because they have a fully stocked bar, and yes, that is. That's a good time. It's, it's the adult, uh, it's the adult Halloween party. No kids around. So that's great. That's great. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, other than that, my, you know, I'm usually wide open. Um, John and I actually got through. You probably saw the post I was making. Yeah. Our game of uh, Fire in the Sky. 